Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can resize any heading or paragraph font in Squarespace. Let's get into it. I have created this uh, cheat sheet page where I listed all of the headings and paragraphs as well as the monospace available in Squarespace. So if I hover over this text, this is heading one, this is heading two, three, and so on and so forth. And this is just a good visual representation for me to see what size I would like the font to use so I don't have to go back and forth. Navigate to this brush icon where it says Size Styles and click over the font. The first thing we can resize is a base size, which is currently set at 16 pixel. We can increase it, and as you see immediately, all of the fonts have been increased, or we can decrease it. 16 pixels is a good start, so I wouldn't change that. And then we can change individual heading style. So let's go to headings, and then, so obviously we can change the font family, weight, etc. But if we scroll down here under the size, you're gonna see the sizing for each heading. If I make it larger, we can see in lifetime how the heading size is adjusting or make it smaller. We can repeat this procedure with all of the headings we have. And the good rule of thumb is the heading one should be the largest, then the heading two is a smaller ratio compared to the heading one, the heading three is smaller compared to the heading two, and the heading four is the smallest one we have. It's right over here. And never forget to click save to save your changes. And from here we can navigate to paragraph and similarly to the headings, we can adjust the sizing of the paragraph one, be larger, it's like 1.1, and the paragraph three is usually the smallest one. And we also have this extra style, which called monospace and squarespace. And the way you can adjust that is by going to font styles and going to miscellaneous. And here we can adjust the sizing of this one. This is a way you can adjust fonts, but there is another option available. We can highlight the text and use this expand button. If I click this resize button, our heading is going to fulfill the whole container. Currently, this blue outline shows our container. So if I click this resize button over here, the heading is going to full fill the available space inside this container. We can control the size by expanding this container, which also expands our heading. Remove this. And now we have this very large text. We can make it even larger to take the whole width of the section. So this is how it's done. Let's duplicate it. We can change this to be a heading two, a heading four. It, it doesn't really matter. The sizing I was just showing you in the Squarespace panel is not gonna be relevant in this case because we're telling the Squarespace that this font has to take the whole size of this container. And also the important thing to note that if you delete this, the container is gonna stay the same if we have just one letter, it's gonna take up the whole space. But if we start typing something, it immediately makes it smaller because now the container has to fit more letters in it. Okay, so I'll show you how to resize the fonts for regular paragraphs. But for, for example, what if we have a blog and we want to resize the size of the blog title? So the way we would do it, go into the styles, all the visual adjustments are always in the style tab in Squarespace and we're going to navigate to fonts and we're going to click this assign styles and here we can search for our blog title. So let's look through it. We're going to scroll through all the options until we find the one we're looking for, which is a blog and our blog is basic grid. So there is different layouts available in blog and you can adjust the heading size for each of them. So here I want to navigate to title. And currently our heading size is heading three. We can adjust and make it heading two and it immediately increase the size. Or we can make it heading four, which will decrease the size. Or the other option would be to adjust the style of the title, but making it custom. And then we can assign custom family style. So it could be completely different font, weight, etc., as well as the size. So here under the size, we also will select custom. And now we can make adjustment to our liking and to have um, a custom sizing. You can look through all of this 
assign styles and fonts and see what is available here. You can adjust the sizing of the fonts on your website. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.